on the 28th of June 1986, I, I joined the greatest club in the world. Uh, we say in New Zealand, a country of four million people, every man and boy would change places with you tomorrow. Becoming All Black in, in 1986 was a, you know, the greatest moment of my career. Uh, my name is Sean Fitzpatrick. Uh, I'm the chairman of the Laureus World Sports Academy. My personal sporting highlight, golly gosh, there's so many. I, I, obviously, I was a professional sportsman myself. Uh, so I was very fortunate I played for rugby for the New Zealand uh, rugby team, the All Blacks. But I am a sports junkie. Uh, I've become a real fan of, of all sport. Uh, but I, I suppose as a, as a career, uh, we won the World Cup in 1987. That was a, you know, a major achievement. But I think going to South Africa in, in 95 and 96, when we, we lost the World Cup in 95 there, an extra time, uh, it was known as the Mandela World Cup and uh, he you know that changed changed the world you know and, and what we do now with with Laureus uh, that is so relevant in terms of how sport is, has changed the world um, and then in 96 to go back there and win a series uh, for me as a as a rugby player that was a, the highlight you know my father said to me play any sport you like as long as it's a team sport so sport uh, gives you great values uh, honesty integrity respect uh, we like humility Humility is one of the one of the key values in, in success. The values that you have, and, and that's what we like in, in Laureus. And and just being honest and, and treating people um, the way they should be. And we have lots of very high profile, hugely successful people. When you get a, a group of hugely successful people together, you'll be amazed how, how humble they are. And that's what we like at Laureus. Um, but it's more about the sport for good foundation in terms of, of the work they do. It's truly humbling. So 20 years ago I was invited to be a founder member. We, we assembled here in Monaco and with that we had a, a wonderful awards celebrating excellence in sport. And then on the, the Sunday after the awards uh, we, we met, I think about 16 of us met at the Hermitage and we said the awards were fantastic uh, but we need to do something else. And uh, with, that was the, the advent of the Sport for Good Foundation. We're very, very proud of, of what we've achieved. We're not going anywhere gender equality, all these things which are so relevant. A classic example of where sport is changing lives. Uh, you were, today was pretty impressive. I, that really sort of blew me away. They came and spoke to the academy and how, how it is changing people's views. Uh, where, where women, uh, children, girls in, uh, in India, they don't dream. And that was one of the nice things that one of the girls said today. Uh, sport has taught me how to dream. And these children started to smile again. And they're children. And that's what we're saying to them, you are children you have an opportunity now to dream again. Well, obviously we're, we're indebted. Um, without the support of IWC, we couldn't be doing what we're doing. Their support over the years has been outstanding. And, and you know, having the watch where we have the, the drawing prize, the drawing competition on the, on the back of the watch each year, uh, that engages all the programs. So that's nice. And, you know, we're, we're very appreciative of the support that IWC has given us over the years. I know a lot of you would like to donate to Laureus, um, but can I encourage them to, to have a look at Laureus and go and visit a project? And I'm sure it'll have the same effect as it had on me. Um, that if you're going to give any money, you'll probably give two or three times more money than you were going to give.